Hi, in this video, I'm going to tell you about the need for a connection pool. Now, before I go into the need for a connection pool, let me tell you something very important. As far as the database is concerned, the two most troublesome or most resource consuming task is the act of a login and the task of a logout. Now, if you remember, if we use dedicated connections, whenever a user is going to log in, a server process is created. Now, how does the database create a server process? It's basically a process, right? It has to check with the operating system. Hey, I need a memory area. I need to create a process and then it creates one. So on log on, a process is created. Then on log off, the same process has to be wiped out or cleared and then the resource is given back to the OS. Login and log out. Two very costly operations in a database. Now, actually speaking, a log out is actually even more resource consuming than a login. And the last thing you want to do in a database when it is running and processing requests for the users is to ask it to create a login or to log off. So in a good environment, you will actually see no logins or log offs happening to the database. Now, how do we achieve that? One, we talked about shared servers if you had thick clients. Now, we move on to the other area where I have an application to which users log into. When users are logging into the application, there is no need to create a database connection to the database for every user's login. For a simple case, if my application has got 1 million users, something like a ticket booking service or take a case of an e-commerce website, there could be millions of users who are available in the application, people who can log in. But remember, all million users are not necessarily going to log in at the same time. And even if all these million users are going to log in at the same time, I don't want a million connections to be created. Now take a typical case. Let's say you're doing an e-commerce shopping. What does a user do? He goes and browses the website. And then whenever he finds something interesting, he says click to add it to his cart. And that's when I want to add something to my database saying I want this. Sometimes even that may not be done in the database. It might be managed in the application. The moment the user clicks purchase or order, that's when maybe a request is sent to the database because a lot of data might be cached. A lot of data would be in the form of objects in the application server itself. So the application manages the load from the users and doesn't go to the database at all. That's a typical use case because you don't want the database to have a million processes. But a typical case is you don't have all the million users coming into, into the application simultaneously. Let's say 10,000 of them are logged in at any given time. Now remember, even if 10,000 users are logged in, the way users get connected here is using HTTP or HTTPS. And these are stateless protocols. That's where cookies come into play, wherein actually these connections are not continuously maintained with the application also because the more the number of connections you maintain, the load on the application is also going to be high. That's why a cookie is created to identify a session, etc. We'll not go into that because we're not talking about application optimization. We're talking about database optimization when an application is wanting to work. Now, the fundamental fact that I told you is we want to avoid login and log off to the database and use the resources best in terms of the CPU memory on the server to process requests. What happens now is that when an application starts, when you start your application itself, we enable it to start and create connections, pre-establish and we call it as a connection pool. So let's say we create a connection pool size of 10. So the application, when it starts, creates 10 connections. That's the only time it's going to log in. Thereafter, it uses the connection depending on the user request. When a user makes a request, and if it has to go to the database, it will pick one of the connections, perform the operation, and return it back to the pool. Now, this connection pool is maintained by the application. Remember that it is not maintained by the database. And thereby, it is a good practice to create this 
in dedicated mode because we have taken care that the user idle time is negated because of a connection pool because all users don't have a connection here instead the application takes care of taking a connection performing the operation and releasing it back to the pool so that when another user makes a request the same connection could be used so from a database perspective the database only sees sequels coming in again and again there is no request for a login or a log off which are two very costly operations and instead of maintaining so many connections i reduce the number of connections based on the size of my connection pool again a good practice when we talk about size of the connection pool is there is typically something called as a min connection pool there is something called as a max connection pool and there is something called as a timeout in a connection pool so what is the idea behind a timeout if a connection is not used for let's say i have set timeout to be 100 seconds then the connection will get disconnected now a good practice from an oracle database or any application that is connecting to the oracle database is to ensure min connection is equal to max connection for example if you said min connection to 100 max connection to 100 and let there not be any timeout because you need to benchmark your application based on the way you expect users to come establish and pre-connect the list of connections and leave it don't increase or decrease by setting a timeout we are likely going from max to min min is the minimum number of connections pools that you want to maintain max is the maximum let them be more or less the same ideally let them be the same so that there is no login or log off but set your connection pool to a level there is no queue built up here you don't want your application request to wait for connection to be free in the pool so set your connection pool large enough so that you will never have that request so that you use your resources most efficiently i will be giving you a demo in which you will see how the same task of executing a bunch of sequels can be established by keeping a connection or by creating a connection logging out after each sequel and you will obviously see the difference of how it works so a good practice from a database optimization perspective is avoid login log off and if i'm using an application the best way to do it is using a connection pool users log into the application they don't log into the database and the application maintains a connection pool a fixed number of connections which is reused for all users and by doing so you don't get any sudden burst of connection requests or burst of connection logouts that's the best way to use your database from your application